Hey everybody, it's your favorite friend and fiend, Kenneth Ramon. I'm back here again in the Cruiser Bruiser, baby! And I'm back with you this time for a little movie hunting extravaganza video. Just gonna hit up a couple places in my hometown right now. Just go see if they got any awesome physical media, DVDs, Blu-rays, all that goodness. So, come along with me, you guys. Let's do it! Alrighty guys, so for our first stop, I'm gonna try something different. Yeah, I'm going to go to S&M Antiques, Coins and Collectibles, and I come here um, off and on, and sometimes I find some pretty cool stuff, you know, be it movies, be it music, so let's take a look real quick. Alrighty guys, so what's really cool about this antique shop is they have all the movies alphabetically organized right here, which is really, really cool. Let's see here, A to B, already I see As Above, So Below. Which is a movie I really, really did enjoy, and um, I've been seeing some mixed things recently, surprisingly. Like, I just can't believe that there's some people that didn't like this movie, but as far as found footage movies go, I really enjoy that one. And if you uh, come across it, definitely recommend. It's a movie about, like, the catacombs in uh, Paris and a group of people being stuck in them. It's really, really cool, man. Claustrophobic type stuff. Let's see here. On the DVDs, uh, C through D. Uh, cowboys versus zombies there. Chalk a lot. So that's cool. And uh, let me know, you guys, in the comments section if you see something that maybe I should check out. But um, just to show you guys what I see here. Let's go over here. Hardball. The Intern's a good one with De Niro, if you guys see that one. Came across it at my Dollar Tree recently. Uh, let's look down here, they got the King's Speech. Uh, let's see, really quick. Life Stinks, there's a movie called Life Stinks in here. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, and then right here, let's see, M through P, let's take a look right here. They got New Year's Eve, they got Nurse Betty there, Overboard, so I see some classics in there. But um, nothing I really need to pick up right now. Uh, gotta get down here. <laughs> but uh, let's see, we got Roadhouse. Sisters I recently saw, dude, it was horrible. But hang on guys, I'm seeing something really cool here. Yes, dude, check this out, Starman. I might just have to pick this one up. Only have it on VHS. This is like a childhood favorite of mine. Jeff Bridges, definitely setting that one aside. And over here, I see Tommy Boy. I see 28 Days Later. I see the Twilight movies in there. So, yeah, really cool, guys. Now, I've never been, like, the hugest, like, comic book guy, but I've had a couple in my collection. And, uh, guys, like, look at some of these cover arts, like, in the Superman issue right here. It's, like, so cool. And, um... Like, look at this one right here. Like, they also have, like, this uh, Spider-Woman one, which is, look at this. It's really cool. I guess she's supposed to be pregnant there. I mean, she looks pregnant. <laughs> and she's, uh, she's pregnant with Spider-Man. I don't know. I might be sounding like a fool there, because I don't know anything about these comic books. But, uh, anyways, uh, see what other ones they got here while we're here. I mean, some of these are, like, vintage style. Like, see, it's another Superman one. Superman, the man of tomorrow. We got Lois in the front cover there, which is awesome. This is Madman Comics one. Let's see what else we got here. We got a bunch of Superman ones. Check this one out, guys. Let's, uh, let's see up here real quick. See, like, look at all these Superman. So many of them. The Adventures of Superman. Oh, it looks like they got some Disney ones, too. Like, look at this. The Beagle Boys back there. <laughs> um, more Superman. Superman Doomsday. That one looks cool. I think I have a DVD of that, actually. Um, Justice League International. Yeah, a couple of those back here. Justice League America. <laughs> hey, look at all these uh, cover arts. Like, it's just really nice, some of these. You know? Superboy, yeah, look at that one. That one's, well, it's marked twice. I wonder, it says five bucks, and then on the other side it says four bucks. I wonder which it is. <laughs> yeah. 
Suicide Squad versus the Justice League. Uh, Superman, the Man of Steel. I thought he was giving me the finger right there for a second. But yeah, look at this one. Suicide Squad versus the Justice League. Alrighty, guys. Now, behind this Superman issue, check this out, guys. Ghost Rider. This is so sick, man. Now, over here, I'm just looking at all the glasses. And look at, they got this Porky Pig one, this classic Disney one. But, guys... This one right here is a Flintstones cup. I don't know how well you guys could see it right now in the video, but um, I used to have this one as a kid, you know? Back back in the 90s, you know, McDonald's carried these. So cool. Yeah, so I'm going to bring it here closer to the light so you guys could see it better. So it's $6, right? And I just have so many memories with this thing, you know, at my grandparents' house. Like, they had one of these, and I would drink all my juices my i used to eat ice cream out of this like ugh, so many memories dude i might just have to pick this up i don't know but yeah just so you guys could see it real quick that is awesome all right guys well now i'm in front of our next stop let's go into wally world baby Alrighty, guys well now here at the new release section they got a man called otto I'm trying to find the whale like, I came specifically for the whale. Um, when it was in theaters, it was only there for a limited time, so I need to get it on DVD. But guys, <sighs> looks like they're sold out. That's where the whale would be. They got plenty of copies of Black Adam, but <sighs> no whale. No whale. That was the only one I really wanted. That's the reason why I came here. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well let's see what else they got while we're here. Got the Top Gun Maverick, man. I still need to pick that up for sure. Alright, now as I pull into this section, guys, I see the Alvin and the Chipmunks collection. $7.50, and I was gifted it for free at my work. So, pretty cool. Thanks, guys. But yeah, here are all like the TV shows. I don't really watch much TV shows, to be honest. Just can't commit to it. Look at this, they got Creep Show here. It's a pretty cool cover art there. Not gonna lie. If they had Stranger Things, I'd probably pick it up. But yeah, and here there's some more like new release titles, like the B movie section here. But uh well actually this woman talking I've heard good things about and um like I said, here's the Easter Bunny Massacre, which I have not seen. Uh, there's not even a price tag there, so I don't know. I don't know how much that even is, but um, we got Jurassic Pet 2. Let's see what else they got here, if there's anything interesting. Angry Neighbors. Let's check it, take a look at it, this one. It says it's got Cheech Marin in it, so that's pretty interesting. Let me take a look real quick. When his ultra-wealthy neighbor in the Hamptons builds him obnoxious mega mansion next door the grumpy neighbor gets upset i don't know guys i mean cheech marin i mean for him i check it out but judging by the cover it looks like he might not even be in the movie for too long uh let's see what else they got a humpty dumpty there <laughs> you gotta love this stuff guys um, so here's a uh, pterodactyl. I was debating getting this the last time i was here and it looks really cool like take a look at the back guys look at that pterodactyl right there it looks like cgi stuff but still pretty cool like i love dinosaur movies so i kind of wanted to check this out but um if you look at the price 13 dollars like i don't think that's really good for a blind buy especially for b-movie cheese you know i might just wait till it's at the dollar tree to be honest with you uh over here guys there's um some more movies some promo ones from uh black friday i guess they didn't sell they got them there. I wonder if they're still discount priced. Uh, this movie smiles amazing, guys. I still need to get my copy of it. But for 18 bucks, I might just hold off for Black Friday. It's a good movie, though. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this Top Gun Maverick, like I said, man. I still need that one, but 35 bucks. I might just wait till Black Friday. Now, here's the section at Walmart that I always get excited for, and I love vlogging it for you guys because it's you know seasonal, holiday-related, but... Uh, Looks like they got all the Easter titles up. They have that Charlie Brown one. Now, here's Peter Rabbit, Peppa Pig, uh, The Good Dinosaur. Let's see what else they got. Like, all the Easter stuff. Peter Cottontail. Things that I don't think I really need in my collection. Uh, they even got the Bible here. The Ten Commandments. So, like, religious stuff, too, if that's what you're into. 
Um, and here's another one, Faith and Inspiration movies there. Um, I can only imagine uh, Forever My Girl. So I guess uh, some of these titles may have like Easter in them. But right here, you guys, here's something that I need in my collection. One of these days, like when I could afford it, I mean, it's $20. I mean, it, it's worth it. But uh, it's a little past my budget right now because I like to buy multiple movies while I'm here. Uh, but yeah, look, it's got the camping episode, Rip Pants. Goes all the way to Atlanta Square Panis. Like, this is like my generation of SpongeBob right here. Like, it goes to, like, when I got old and I didn't watch them anymore. And I just, I still reference it to this day. If anybody wants to gift this for me, feel free, please. <laughs> all right, now... Well, I'm here, you guys. It's it's a must. I must look through the three dollar and seventy four movie bin. Got Don't Breathe there, man. If you don't have that one, definitely pick it up. Red Dawn. Uh, look, we were just looking through the comic books, guys, and check this out. Super Friends, man. I might just have to pick this up, man. I'm. I don't know. Ever since I started going to Six Flags more often, like I really got into like the DC comics and guys. This isn't $3.74. This just came out. I mean, if it is, I'm definitely going to pick it up, but... No. Uh, <laughs> I think somebody just dumped that in here. The Wild Thornberries movie. So that's cool. I don't remember if I actually watched the movie, but I loved the series as a kid. A couple of those. We got uh, Chamber of Secrets. I still need to check to see if I have this one already, but... Uh, I am collecting all the Harry Potter movies, so might have to get that one. Uh, let's see what else they got. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, I picked that one up the last time. But yeah, guys, like I was saying at work, um, I really um, do love SpongeBob, and now like I have like a new appreciation for it because that's all I do all day is, you know, I show my friends like my SpongeBob memes and stuff. <laughs> Guys, this one here, uh, Jane Silent Bob, the reboot, it's so good. Like, it does not deserve to be in here. Demolition Man. Um, I might have to get that one. Like, I really do like that one. And I don't have it in my collection yet, so I might get that one. You got Friday in here. Um, let's see. Life of the Party with Melissa McCartney. I saw that one, not bad. Suicide Squad's in here, guys. That's pretty sick, to be honest. For only $374, that's really good. Um, Creed, also really good for that price. I found it at the Dollar Tree recently, though, the Blu-ray. Okay, so um, I guess that Pam and Tommy is $374. This movie's really good. Um, I, like, I like Jeff Bridges and um, Ryan Reynolds, but um, the movie's kind of cheesy. Like, I don't know if it's like my kind of comedy, but... I don't know, I gotta think about that one. Like, I love both actors. I saw it in theaters. Guys, you know the Will Smith controversy had a toll on it if you see King Richard in the $3 movie bin. He <laughs> got uh, Tommy Boy. That's definitely worth 3 bucks if you see it. Um, let's see what else we got in here. I might have to dig in here, but they got the Meg. I still haven't seen it. Let me know if you guys would recommend that one to me. I know it's got mixed reviews. Um, let's dig deep in here. Let's see if some gold pops out. And we got Lassie. Alright. <laughs> Guys, here's a classic right here. I've never come across this movie. Over the Top with Stallone. Oh, have you, any of you guys seen this one? I might just have to pick this up. Alright, now let's take a look at the $5 movie bin real quick. Here's that Nicolas Cage one. I asked you guys about the last time. Still don't know if I want to check it out or not. Could be good, could be bad, I don't know. There's they got the Halloween collection here. Three film set. It's like it's got H2O, Resurrection, and Halloween 5. Might have to get that one, I don't know. Not a bad packaging right there. Got Ted 1 and 2, Thunder Buddies collection. Nice. Hmm... Heaven is for real. Oh, this is like, uh, isn't this one just came out recently? The, um, Bruce Willis this is like one of his last movies here. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know. I might want to check this one out. Um, let me see what else they got in here real quick, though. Um, here's like, look at this cover right here, guys. The Grudge Untold Chapter 
I guess this is like a sequel I've never seen before, but look, it's got Lin Shay in there. Nah, is that John Cho? I think it's John Cho, yeah. Let me look at the cast real. Yeah, there he is. Hmm. I don't have to check this one out. I've never seen this one. This looks like it's from 2019. Pretty cool. I'm going to set that one aside for now. Ooh, guys, speaking of John Cho, this is a really good movie. Yeah, hardly ever come across this one. Searching. I really do recommend this one. And uh, they've made a sequel recently called Missing. And I saw it twice in theaters. It was so good. I might have to get that one. They got the Creed 1 and 2 double pack. That's kind of cool. Nobody. I heard good things about that one, but haven't seen it. Got the Crow, of course. This check has forever. This movie just came out. This is probably in the wrong spot, but, uh, I mean, if it is five bucks, I wouldn't mind picking it up. We'll find out. <laughs> well, guys, is, I was just about done with my shopping. Uh, movie here eyed me. Look at this. <laughs> Sweet! Alrighty, my friends, we're well, back here again in the fabulous Cruiser Bruiser. And I just couldn't help but pick up some awesome, awesome goodness today. And, um, yeah, looking forward to sharing it with you all. So let's get to it. Uh, per our Walmart visit, I picked up one, two, three, four, five movie titles. And, um, first up, you guys, I definitely, definitely had to pick up, uh, this Pam and Tommy story. Which, um, I've been wanting to watch and uh just recently came out uh they have this for sale for 15 bucks and i was even debating picking it up then i kid you not guys i think this was like maybe a couple months ago and they still had it i really wanted it right and then i went back and then it was gone and then little little to know right i was just going through the three dollar and 74 cent movie bin and then i found it in there and i'm like no it can't be in there right this somebody just stuck it in there you know and then uh Sure enough, I was looking through all the titles in there, and I saw multiple copies of this. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess, you know, people didn't buy it, you know, when it first came out. And then sometimes that happens. They have to drop the prices. And uh, there was another movie um, in one of those bins that I came across that I'll talk about in just a second. But, yep, yeah, so I had to pick up this movie. And uh, is this even a movie, guys? I think this might be like a series of some sort. Uh, it says here, the eight-part um, original limited uh, series. So, cool. Really, really cool. It says it explores the intersection. Uh, wait, okay, the intersection of privacy, technology, and celebrity, tracing the origins of our current reality TV era to a stolen tape seen by millions, but meant uh, to have an audience of just two. So I am familiar with the story, with the whole scandal and everything. Um, and I'm sure you guys are that are big movie buffs on the channel. If you've seen the movie Borat, you you know what like the uh, the tape involves and whatnot. I'm a big Motley Crue fan, so I love anything Tommy Lee. And this dude kind of really looks like Tommy Lee. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty interested in seeing where this goes. I heard it was really good. Yeah, and even the, the uh, woman that portrays Pam. Yeah, see, I don't think these are like um, any known actors, but... Yeah, it says here, Pamela Anderson, played by Lily James, and Tommy Lee, played by Sebastian Stan. I've heard of that name, Sebastian Stan. But anyways, they, they look legit like them. And I wonder if he has, like, all the tattoos and everything, you know? <laughs> like, if they had to, like, put, like, some fake tattoos all over him. Like, get him one of those uh, shirt sleeve, those long sleeve shirts that look like tattoos. <laughs> you, you know, I, I'm really intrigued. I'm interested to see where they go with this. So, really, really cool. It says, the greatest love story ever sold. <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, so, yeah, pick that up for $3.74. Also from the $3.74 movie bin, I picked up Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone. Just had to pick this one up because this takes me way back to my childhood. I remember watching this with my dad. And um, I haven't seen it since then. It's been a while. But some cool things I remember about this movie. Um, first off, uh, Sammy Hagar has a song on here. Um, I think Twisted Sister have a song on here too on the soundtrack. 
And I was like, ah, oh, this is really cool, really badass. And, um, but the movie is like about arm wrestling and, uh, Stallone, like, doing, like, a, an arm wrestling, uh, challenge with his kid. He has, like, a son in here that he's, like, uh, teaching how to, like, do the arm wrestling challenges. This is just from my memory, from what I remember watching as a kid. So this is gonna be, like, a real treat to just come back and watch. And for $3.74, I felt like it was a no-brainer. Um, I also had uh, Demolition Man in my cart, and I almost picked it up, but been kind of on a tight budget these days. So um, I feel like Demolition Man, I might come across at a thrift store again. And uh, I did come across it once at Goodwill, and I didn't pick it up, and I totally regret it because I don't really come across Demolition Man that often. But um, this one I never come across, and I almost forgot about this movie, really, until I saw it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember watching this when I was a kid, and totally loving it, totally loving it. It's a sweet movie, so, um, yeah, cannot wait to revisit this one. Check it out, you guys. And uh, next up, uh, next up we're going to be going through three titles that I picked up at the $5 movie bin. And um, this one, I just I couldn't help but pick it up. It was a no-brainer. I was already going past my budget with the other two, but you guys, when you come across Encino Man, you have to pick it up. And um, this is a movie that I loved growing up as a kid, especially in high school. I would rewatch this thing over and over again and reference it. And this is like a movie I just definitely had the pleasure of watching in in my high school, my teenage years, and. Uh, I still love watching this movie and you know what kind of bugs me is recently um, I went through like the old VHS tape that I had growing up and I guess I watched it too much that the tape was just destroyed like I you guys know what I'm talking about that you know are from that VHS era where like you just get like all the lines and stuff and like I can't even explain it. Like, I feel like maybe the tape was eaten up at one point where I just didn't see anything. Just, uh, like, pure darkness and lines. And just, I was crushed, man, because I really do love this movie. And uh, now I got a copy on DVD. You know, and I've been searching everywhere for the VHS again. And I just never found it. So, um, really, really cool, man. You know, and I know why I didn't find it, because people are holding on to this thing. This movie is a timeless classic right here, in my opinion. Brendan Fraser, Polly Shore, man. Movie about a caveman in high school. Man, you just gotta dig it, man. And it's pure 80s, dude. I mean, well, this movie's from the 90s, I think. Like, early 90s. Let's see. When was this made, right? I don't think it even tells me when it was made, but I think this was like 1992 or something like that. But 92 is still has that 80s feel, you know what I mean? Even the bands at this time, like your Warrants and uh, who else? Like Tesla, like the, the 80s hair bands were still a thing in like the early, early 90s. So definitely has an 80s feel. And I think there's Def Leppard songs on this movie too. Uh, I remember, I definitely remember that, you know, when they're riding around in their... um God, what's a, a moped? They're riding around on a moped to, to class and Def Leppard's pranking on the cassette player. That movie totally has an 80s vibe that I just totally love. Anyways, guys, enough rambling. I love, love, love that movie. Next up, you guys, this one I was totally surprised to find in the $5 movie bin because much like uh, this title right here, this movie just recently came out. I remember just watching it in theaters. And, um... I'm talking about Jackass Forever. Now, those of you guys that have been following my channel, you probably saw um, the Black Friday uh, movie sale video that I made uh, when I went into Walmart, and they had this title there, but it was ridiculously expensive. Like, I mean, so expensive. I'm just like, I really want this movie, but I think I'm just going to put it back. Like, I think it was like almost like 20 bucks for the DVD. And I'm like, yeah, I love it, but I don't love it that much. And then look at it, man. I I find this in the $5 movie bin, and I thought it was a joke, but then when I went to scan it, sure enough, it popped up 5 bucks. So definitely had to pick this one up. Um, it's hard for me to review this movie, you know. Uh, I wanted to review it after I saw it in theaters, but how do you really review this movie? It's just, you know, a bunch of guys now, well, they're pushing 50 now, just doing outlandish stunts with their friends. I, I love this stuff, man. And uh, if you um, are not into, like, watching, um, like, really over-the-top um, 
stuff, you're not going to want to watch this one, especially uh, stuff that involves the genital area. But anyways, you guys, um, I really dug this. Um, a friend of mine is actually in this movie, um, an actor that I worked with on set named Carl Solomon. And uh, I heard that he actually had his scenes removed from the theatrical cut. But uh, rumor has it that it is on the DVD. So definitely, definitely looking forward to checking out uh, this DVD package right here. Definitely worth five bucks for sure. All right, guys. Next up, I got one more title that I picked up uh, from Walmart in the $5 movie bin as well. This one I was debating getting to because it was going past my budget. But I'm like, gosh, I never come across this DVD. And if I... If I leave right now, I'm going to come back and I'm going to look for it when I have a little bit more money and I'm not going to find it. And I'm talking about this movie called Searching with uh, John Cho. You might re recognize him from Harold and Kumar, right? Um, this movie's really, really serious. It's probably his best role, at least that I've seen him in. Like, very uh, good dramatic role, dramatic performance from John Cho here, who's just searching for his missing daughter, and he does not believe that she is dead. Like, there's, like, all these um, clues out there, hints that, okay, well, maybe it's time to just give up, you know? And, you know, your daughter, she's she's gone. This guy is relentless. He does not believe it. And then there's this whole twist at the end that I really, really did love, and... Um, just, this movie really had me on my toes. And uh, there's another one uh, that just recently came out. Kind of a sequel, kind of not. But it's like definitely from like the same makers. It's called Missing. Uh, it just came out and I wanted to do a review on it. Uh, but just didn't have the time for it. Uh, if that's something you guys want me to do, I'll definitely try to make time for it. But I loved it. And I love uh, the searching movie. Uh, just the, the twist, man. If you like movies with a good twist, and this is also kind of like one of those found footage type of movies that takes place all on a computer screen, and it was brilliantly done. I think Unfriended was like the first movie, first big movie to really do that. Uh, this movie took it to a whole new level, man. And, um... It's really hard to do a movie like that, where you're just watching a computer screen the whole time, you know? A lot of people would get bored watching that, but this movie, man, you don't want to get up to use the bathroom because you're going to miss something, like, really, really important here. And uh, it's just so suspenseful. I can't recommend this movie enough. So this one and Missing, phenomenal movies, you guys. Highly recommend them. Alrighty, you guys. Well, those are my pickups from Walmart. I got some awesome, awesome cool shit that I want to share with you that I picked up at the antique shop here in town. Hey guys, so before I get to my final pickups on this awesome out and about movie hunting extravaganza video for you guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching my video and for supporting my channel. Uh, if you like what you see so far, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Let's get to a thousand subscribers already, you guys. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. But as always, I really do appreciate all the support. Now, let's get to my final pickups now. Shall we? Alrighty, guys. So now here are my pickups from S&M Antiques here in Ridgecrest, California. Uh, I picked up one movie uh, while I was there. And uh, this is a movie I already have on VHS. And... Um, I don't know if I ever shared it with you guys, but I actually have it signed by a few people from the movie. Um, I'm talking about Starman, all right, with uh, Jeff Bridges and uh, Karen Allen. And uh, I've got Karen Allen to sign my uh, my VHS cover, and I also got John Carpenter to sign it, and, uh, as well as some behind-the-scenes people on it. So really, really cool. I mailed it to Jeff Bridges, um, but it came back return to sender. I think it was, like, done signing at that point. Uh, but I really want to try again. But anyways, you guys, uh, yeah, it's really hard to come across uh, this movie. And uh, my VHS copy I picked up at a thrift shop, and now I picked up the DVD at um, an antique shop. It's really something that I hardly ever come across. And you guys let me know if you ever come across this movie. But another movie um, that goes way, way back in my childhood. I think I was like maybe six years old when I saw this. I was at my grandparents' house. It was just on TV on on HBO or one of those channels. I was like, wow, this is really cool. This is a really cool movie, man, about, 
you know, some some guy from another planet, you know, some science fiction alien type stuff. I just remember loving this movie. It's just like super, super cool, man. Supernatural type of stuff. It's really one of those movies that just paved the way uh, for my love for science fiction. So um, really definitely had to pick this one up, even though I already own the VHS. And uh, the VHS uh, cover is a lot different than this uh, DVD cover, but check that out, guys. This one's really cool with the Jeff Bridges face in the front and him and Karen Allen right there. Let me open it up. Look at this, guys. It's even got, like, some info on the movie. And I don't know if you guys could see it well in this video. I might have to turn up the brightness a little bit. But yeah, look at that, you guys. So a lot of cool info about the movie, some... Bitchin' cover art here. Yeah, man. So, like, it just, it, like, talks about, like, the... Even the locations. It says here, filming began on February 21st, 1984, on locations that stretched across the United States. Nevada, Arizona. It even says the places, too, where they filmed at. Tennessee, Washington, D.C., and California. It says, like, Barstow. It says, um... What do you call it? Nashville. Like all the places they filmed at, which is really, really cool. It says here, as production had began uh, in the winter months, the location sites were chosen to not only play themselves, but to double uh, for other uh, places featured in Starman storyline. So Nevada for Nebraska and Colorado, Los Angeles and Nashville for uh, Wisconsin and Barstow for uh, Arizona. So like, yeah, so like they, they use like different locations and then they pretended that it was in this uh, setting. So really, really cool. You know, one of my interests and I just started looking up and researching like movie locations and things like that. And there's actually one that's really close by me uh, where they actually filmed Terminator 2. Or actually, no, 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 no. Uh, well, yes, uh, Terminator 2, but there was, um, a gas station scene, you know, at the end of Terminator 1, where Sarah Connor, uh, goes and they take the picture of her and she's pregnant with John Connor. Uh, yeah, that gas station is actually like maybe like an hour and a half away from me. And I was thinking of going out there, you know, but a part of me kind of doesn't want to do the whole film location thing. Cause, you know, Adam the Woo is, He's the goat when it comes to all that, and I just, I don't know. I mean, you really shouldn't compare yourself to others, but if there's someone out there that already does it really well, it's like, why even try, you know? But at the end of the day, I'm kind of interested in, like, going out there and, you know, maybe doing a little video, a little vlogging adventure. Like, here I am, you know, in this location where they filmed uh, Terminator. I mean, because that'd be really cool, man. I actually... uh went to some filming locations for National Lampoon's Vacation, you know, Six Flags, you know, where they filmed the end, the roller coaster scene. So it would be cool. Like, I got my own pictures. It would be cool to do, like, a little vlog for you guys. Let me know if that's something you might be interested in because um, I think I really, really want to do that. Anyways, you guys, got a couple more items. These are not movies, but really cool stuff that I picked up at the antique shop. This one... It's covered. It's covered for protection because it's a fragile item. You guys guess what it is. You guys already saw the video. but <laughs> Yeah, guys. I definitely had to pick this up. God, it's in great condition, man. But it's the Flintstones cup. I don't know how it's, how it's coming out in this video, but let me see. Hopefully you guys could see it. But yeah, it says uh, the Flintstones and it says Rock Donald's because I guess they sold these at McDonald's. So it's really cool, man. It's got like fossils. There's a fossil of a of a fish right here. And uh, I, guess, I think this is some bug of some sort and there's a leaf here. And guys, and uh, yeah, yeah, the um, the handle right here, it's, you know, it's a, a bone right here, like a dinosaur bone, so a fossil. Really dang cool, you guys. I had one of these, the exact same cup uh, when I was a kid, when I was five years old, man. I remember getting this, because um, the movies came out in the 90s, right? Yeah, I think this was from 95 or something. But I remember, you know, when I was a kid, you know, five years old, it was like 99, 2000. I would always go to my grandma's house. You know, I would watch movies like The Star Man and whatever was on HBO Family. And, you know, my grandma, I'd always use this cup for everything. She would even give me um, vanilla ice cream. Right? Then she put it in here and I'd eat vanilla ice cream out of this 
same exact cup that this is in great condition man this is really cool i'm looking at the bottom of it it says here uh circa 1993 really really cool from mcdonald's corporation made in the usa really really cool you guys it says pre-dawn mug at the bottom i don't know if you guys could see it, if it'll come out really good in the video but Super, super cool to come across this thing. Yeah, I just remember, like I said, I was eating ice cream out of this thing. And a movie that I remember doing that too, I was watching uh, X-Men. X-Men had just came out. This was 2000, man. And I just thought it was the coolest movie ever, man. Just so many great memories uh, with this cup. Obviously, it's not the same exact one I had when I was a kid. But same exact model, same exact images all over it. Awesome, man. God, who would have thought I'd ever come across this thing again? I wonder if my grandfather still has the original one. He probably does. Um, but yeah, so, so cool, man. I only got this for six bucks. I mean, come on, man. That's just so classic right there. Definitely had to pick that up, man. I'm feeling extra nostalgic right now, you guys. All right, guys. So this is my very, very last pickup of the day. And um, I'm not really much of a comic book person, but uh, sometimes I see one that just looks totally bitching in the front and I just have to pick it up or if it's movie related because I'm not a big superhero type of guy. But um, like I had uh, Robocop versus Terminator in my collection at one point um, on, in a comic book. And I also had, um, what's another one that I had? Oh yeah, Batman versus Predator. Believe it or not, it was an actual comic book. I actually had it in my collection. Now I don't have it anymore, you know, um, kind of moved and then things got lost. But I wish I still had them. But, you know, this may be the start of something new where I start collecting comic books. I don't know. I don't know if I have space in my room for that, you know. But anyways, you guys, I picked up Ghost Rider. Yeah, this is one. And there's a couple that really caught my eye while I was there, but... You know, really cool, man. And, of course, I know Ghost Rider because, you know, Nicolas Cage, you know, badass Nicolas Cage, the Ghost Rider. And also the ride at Knott's Berry Farm when I was a kid, the Ghost Rider ride. But, yeah, now I have the comic book. Check that out, guys. Look how bitchin' the front cover is, man. <laughs> super, super damn cool, man. And I paid $8 for this. It says Marvel, uh, issue number six. Spider-Woman variant. Huh. Cool. I guess it's ori originally priced $3.99. Rated T+. Plus. Now, I don't know much about comic books at all. So if you guys know what that means. Let me know in the comment section. But pretty dang cool, you guys. So happy, man. Such awesome pickups. Just can't believe it. Anyways, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Coming uh, along with me on the shopping adventure. I really do appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you next time. Oh, you guys, um... Tomorrow, man, I'm going to see Quiet Riot in concert. Quiet Riot wants you! So I'm pretty excited about that. I even got on the guest list and everything. I guess they really liked the video uh, where I was reacting to their new song. And guys, I just, I don't have the words, man. <laughs> I got on the guest list at a Quiet Riot show, man. They're my favorite 80s band, so really really cool man but anyways you guys um thank you guys so much for supporting these videos and i really do appreciate it you guys freaking rock it's <laughs> kenneth ramon signing off bang